Welcome to the minefield. Dozens of bombs and traps stand between you and your prize. Millions of loot. Will you be able to lead your army to victory and overcome the minefield? What's up YouTube, General Tony here, coming back with everyone's favourite video. We are back with a brand new, original, unique, whatever you want to call it, troll base. This has never been seen before. We have a brand new design and we are calling it the minefield. So we have basically set up a stronghold in the centre of the base, protected by three layers of thick, thick walls at the back of the base. All the attacks we have to show you come from the actual front of the base in today's video, so that's fantastic. Every single attack comes from the front. This base does stand undefeated, although it hasn't been attacked by too many extremely high level troops, but we still have some very funny, very decent defenses to show you. So guys, if you watched yesterday's video, you will know I've done a brand new announcement saying every single video I will give a different person a shout out no matter who you are. And the winner of the first one goes to Spangamil. His comment was the following. The left nut says to the right nut, don't speak to the guy in the middle, he's a dick. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that funny. I don't know why you really liked it, but we're going to change it up right now a little bit. So instead of doing a joke this video, I've got a number in my head between 19 and 59, between 19, 19 and 59. Now all of you can win this, every single one of you, I will give unlimited amounts of shout outs. All you have to do is comment down below the number that I've got in my head. If one of you guess it right, then one person gets a shout out, if 10 of you, then 10 people get a shout out. So without wasting further time guys, we're going to go straight into the first defense. Let's see if anyone was able to overcome the minefield. So we're going to kick it off straight away with this simple botch. Let's see what people are going to be able to do. Now, most of the attacks, I actually managed to restock the bombs, restock the CC. So let's just see what happens. Now, I will state I did have eight defenses to show you. But unfortunately, the Elegato HD decided to scrap four of them. So we only actually have four defenses to show you in today's video. But it doesn't matter. They're still going to be epic. So you can see they've got the king going in there trying to take out my queen. Now we have some high-level wizard towers on the front. And boom! You just lost a large amount of your barbarian. Barbarians, bruh. He's already wasted two of his heal spells there. I feel so sorry for him. Cry me a river. Look at the little river of barbarians coming out of the heal spell. I don't know why he placed them there like it was going to do anything. Here we go, boys. You're about to get there. You're about to die. Woo! You're about to die, boys. There go a large amount of them from the spring trap. Just lost another sore amount of them. Another sore amount? Another large amount from the spring trap. And here come the rest of his archers from the right wing. The right wing archers are coming in for the kill. But no, you are going down, my friends. The archer tower, the wizard tower, the Tesla. Everything's going to work. And that is where the first one ends. 11, 12, 13% later. Wasn't too good. Oh my god, he didn't even get a single gold or elixir. A little tiny bit of DE. Not too bad, though, for the troops he brought. Nah, I'm just kidding. That was terrible. So we're going straight into number two, and I didn't really expect an attack like this coming in on this base. Now, this guy's going in with a lava, lava dragon. I don't even know what this is called, lava dragon, whatever the hell it's called. So he's got his lava hound going in. He's got his second one coming in now as well. Some level three dragons. He's trying to make his way into the center of the base. Now, that gold just looks so sexy. Look at it. Four massive gold storages. The first hound has already been torn apart. Second one's about to pop. Look how quickly the pups go down. And they are gone. Every single one of them vanished. Oh no, we got one little one here hiding under the dragon's wing. Don't hide, my friend. You were about to die too. So he's got a couple of dragons left. He's got a couple in the center amongst the rage spell. One more rage. There we go. He's used it. Is he going to be able to take out the queen and get the elixir and the gold? He's got a large amount of elixir, to be fair. He's still got his queen to place down. But those dragons are slowly drifting away. The air sweeper is so annoying here as well. Just pushing them back ever so slightly. So he's dropped his queen on the right wing of the base once again. He's going for that elixir, obviously. He's already taken 200, 300,000 of my loot. Damn, he did manage to get a decent amount. But still, to be honest, he hasn't even clutched 40% yet. There we go. He's on the 40% and now. The queen's slowly going down as soon as she comes into the range of the archer towers. That's it. That bitch gone. Die away, you stand, girl. You gone. Die, girl. So we got 42%. Wasn't too bad after all. 
So we're coming into raid number three, and this isn't something you see every day. This has got to be the weirdest attack strategy I've ever seen. So he's decided to drop three lightning spells. He's taken out the archer tower, done a tiny bit of damage to the cannon, the wizard tower, and the gold storage. And he's got 185 goblins there. He's got a level one barb king. I mean, why did you even bother attacking? There goes the first little mine, the first little bomb, taken out and doing a large amount of damage to these low level goblins. Out comes a CC, and you just have no hope in hell of getting past any one of them. The CC is going to absolutely tear his troops apart. I'm pretty sure he ends it quite soon. There's only 10 seconds left in the raid. I don't think he even deploys any more troops. What an absolute fail that was. Look at all that loot standing in the middle of the base. This is an absolute stronghold of a base. Anyone who's attacked it from the front has seriously been damaged in the process. So guys, we're going straight into raid number four. Now, this is a weird attack, to be honest, a weird attack strategy. He's got a, a weird number of hog riders and giants, a couple of wizards. He's got no heroes, but he's brought a couple of spells. Now, there is over 700,000 loot available on the table. Obviously, he's not going to be able to get anywhere near 50% with the army that he's got. Let's just see what he's going to be able to conjure up, though. So he's got his wizards, his little archers coming in from behind the giants. But here comes the CC. Not one person tried to lure out the CC at the start. That's going to do severe damage to anything like giants, golems, queens, kings, anything of that sort. The wizards are going to be able to clean up a little bit there. Big Bomb goes off. Didn't really do much damage to any of his troops. Now here come the hog riders. That looks awesome the way they just all uniquely sink and jump over that wall. Taking out the first defense there. Going straight onto the cannon. Now he's got some max level heal spells with him. He's managed to take out a decent amount. About 150,000 to 160,000. He's got his level 5 hogs going in towards the back of the base now. And they are going to be able to do some serious damage. Because there's no big bombs inside of here. But as soon as the heal spells wear out. There we go. This is game over. You are going to die. He's going to be able to take out the air defense. Probably the archer tower. And then that's it. The rest of his troops should just fade away and die as we go along. And there we go. So he's got his level 4 dragon sitting in the base now. Trying to get some loot in. He's managed to get distracted by the little Larry. Coming back for the wizard tower. Come on, Harry. Shoot him, Harry. Nope, Harry. You done shite, mate. So the big bomb's gone off. Taken up a couple of those archers. The rest of them have moved in. Oh, they got that storage for free? No, they don't. The expos are there to save the day. Stop those little archers from cleaning up. And there we go. The fourth raid is down and out, guys. He's got a couple of little archers over here on the right wing. But they are about to get picked off. And there we go. The final raid is over 46%. So what did you think of this troll base, guys? Did you enjoy it? If you did, simply leave a thumbs up down below. Don't forget, if you want to win that shout out, all you need to do is guess the number between 19 and 59. The 40k subscriber giveaway ends this Friday, guys. So if you want to enter that for a chance to win one of $10 gift cards, Android, iOS, Google Play, anything, anything that you want, PSN, Xbox, anything of that sort, simply like and share this video. If you want some free gems, click the first link in the description box down below, guys, where you're going to be able to get some extra points from Cash for Apps. As ever guys, thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, peace out.